Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schallert, and this quick tip video is on renaming parts or subassemblies inside the feature manager tree when you're in SolidWorks. In order to rename parts or subassemblies inside the feature manager tree, you first need to make sure that you have an option inside SolidWorks options turned on. So I'll go into the options menu and go to the feature manager options and under here there is an allow component files to be renamed from the feature manager tree. So you need to have that checked. With that checked it's pretty simple. You can go over to the part or the subassembly that you want renamed and you can right click and you can say rename. And then you can go ahead and rename to whatever you want and from there you could go ahead and save the part or save the assembly in this case if I did save the assembly it would show me that the skid plate with logo was renamed to skid plate and that's what's being saved now the only thing that's being saved because that's what's changed I'm gonna cancel out of that and then show you another option this works very similarly to a sub assembly that you would have renamed as well so if I go ahead and open up that skid plate and come in here to do a save it does recognize that this part had been renamed so generally when this comes up you want to come in and look because there's it contains some reference to documents that have been temporarily renamed this has not been saved yet because I checked out of saving that from the assembly level so if I go in and update where used wherever this document would be used would show up in a list in here just as long as I had the file locations of where it might be used under this list here or I say include the file locations the reference documents folder if I'm checking that what that's doing is that's bringing in the file locations that are under my options in my file locations reference documents so that adds these two directories to the where used the where used inside of the SolidWorks that comes up when you're doing this process here isn't a full PDM where used meaning that we have to make sure we add the directories where we think the file is for it to go look in those directories and see but again this newer process from 2016 and above will capture the where used and allow you to rename it in that location or not. So that's pretty much it from the standpoint of renaming from the feature manager tree inside of SolidWorks. I hope this quick tip video was useful.